Uh, it's very exciting. I'm very excited to be in New York. Um, I haven't been here in four years. Um, it's, I've been here last um, to study at the Strasbourg in 2002. I was just 22 years old after the 9-11 the and uh, you know I, I, I did experience the city and its changes so it's really really interesting to be here back again but this time um, in a different not as a student anymore and uh, I'm not ex exploring the city anymore. I lived here, so uh, it's interesting to see how much it has changed. What I, I normally think, it's one of those karmic things that happen. I had tried to go to LA three times and uh, it was such a tough city comparing to New York. Uh, you know, in New York you, you jump in, in the metro and you just go from block to block to block. And I got to LA as the struggling person. Uh, and I found it so much harder to, to be able to move around the city. Uh, I even lost work because I couldn't get from point A to point B. So I went back to New, to New York. And three times I went back to LA. And the last attempt at LA, um, I got this this uh, audition with 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 Tommy, and when I met Tommy, uh, I I read for the part, and uh, he 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 gave me this chance. He he he, uh, you know, Tommy looked at me and he believed in my talent and he believed I could do this 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 character, although I've never you know I was terrified, you know, Tommy Swerdlow, he's the 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 writer of Cool Runnings and. And uh, all these amazing uh, classics, and I, I just couldn't believe my luck. Uh, and you know, Tommy was. Uh, uh, this is his love project. This is his passion project, and the responsibility that I felt uh, of 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 being able to 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 portray this character and and be faithful to to his vision. Uh, it was tremendous, overwhelming. Uh, it was very challenging in the sense that I've never experimented with drugs before. Um, and I had to try to, to, to understand who this person was. I don't consider Igor a character. He's a, he's a real person. Because it's based on a real life person that Tommy met, and that's and that's why he wrote about Igor. Uh, although I, I didn't had the chance to meet this guy, I had to 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 try to understand him and what he went through. Uh, so I, I did a lot of research in trying to understand how the drug affects you, uh, what it means to live in LA and what it means to walk those streets, to, to the language, the, the, the let's score drugs. So trying to understand the language was very challenging to me. I have two big mentors that I, I treasure and, and I love them. Lola Cohen, amazing, amazing, amazing uh, Lee Strasberg uh, teacher. Uh, and uh, Stefan Michaels. Uh, Stefan Michaels is an amazing uh, teacher as well. He, he, he specializes uh, um, in many things and uh, he specifically taught me character, character actor work. I learned everything from them in the sense that you know you, you have to learn a technique. Uh, for, for us actors it's very important to, to have a base. So th there's this amalgamation of of inspiration that you get, and uh, automatically my, uh, you know, my body recognizes certain things. And oh, okay, I'm I'm using the the animal exercise here. Oh, I'm getting inspiration from someone that I met, or you know, that's what school does to you. It it, it just tells you it's okay to to use your personal memories 
to, to do a certain scene. I wasn't when I came here, and, and that's the thing. I, I followed my instinct, always, my gut. That's, that's, that's the only good advice I can, no matter how wrong it feels, or it seems, not feel, it can't feel wrong, it has to feel good. Uh, but as anything in life, wh when you're afraid, you don't know if there's a net underneath if you jump, but, there's always something grabbing, you know, that will hold you if, you, if, you, if you're doing the right thing. Always do the right thing. Uh, but do not be afraid to break the loop. Things are just things. Televisions, couches, and beds, they're just things. Just get rid of all of it. Uh, and I did that so many times. Uh, you know, going to, to like, going to, to LA, I, I was dragging this huge suitcase with all my belongings and I dragged it back and forth back and forth huge there was a day where I was close to uh, the Red Cross or Goodwill and I was just so tired I'm like what is it I drag inside this bag I don't need noth uh, nothing that is inside it I went into the, the Goodwill Red Cross and I said here I like just take it and the lady just looked at me. She was just stunned. What? Are you sure you, you don't need your clothes? Are you sure? I don't need anything. Um, just, just take everything. And I did. So I learned a big lesson at that point is, as an actor, you are your own house. You know, you, you need to follow your instinct, to follow your gut, and uh, follow the food source, which is go to where work is. And, um, you know, and live life, experience people, talk to people. Uh, like, if you're in, in, in your beautiful castle, you're not, you're, you're not living, you're not, you're not seeing things, you're not going through life, it's impossible. You, you can never be an actor.